The Girl Who Slept Too Little is one of those episodes of The Simpsons where there are individual moments that I quite liked, but the overarching narrative just felt a little dull, which is weird because on paper, this is everything I love. Lisa is my favourite character and I love cemeteries, so it, it should have been brilliant, but I just felt like the narrative was lacking something. This is the second episode of the 17th season of The Simpsons, directed by David Silverman and Raymond S. Percy, and... Something is going to be built opposite the Simpsons house. I won't say what it is, but Homer's not happy with it. Nobody's happy with it. So they they petition against it. Success. It's not happening. Instead, a cemetery is built. And Lisa's bedroom window overlooks the cemetery. And suddenly she's terrified to go to sleep in her own room. She ends up sleeping in Marge and Homer's bed. And... They have to try and find a way to help her get through this. And I won't say any more than that at the moment. What I will say is that what Lisa experienced in order to help her was maybe not something I'd expected. And I'll talk more about that in a moment. But that sounds like I should love it. It's cemeteries, it's Lisa, it's psychology. Three things I absolutely love. So it should have really spoken to me and I should have absolutely adored it. But unfortunately, I just felt like that aspect of the narrative just didn't go anywhere. We had a tiny look at the psychological aspect of it, but the scene with the um, the psychologist was just really dull and not very interesting. The scenes in the cemetery were well animated, but were not that spooky. So we didn't really get this sense of this fear that Lisa was feeling because I didn't feel like the cemetery was that scary. And it was just very slow as well. So the overarching narrative, I should have adored it. And I maybe my hopes were too high. Maybe I know what I like because it's something I love. I have certain expectations. Maybe if I wasn't that bothered, I'd like it more. Which sounds ironic, but I guess that makes sense. But there were a few things that I liked. So these are a few spoilers. Um... Some bigger spoilers than others, but these are specific things, so if you don't want to know anything, these are some small spoilers. The first thing I loved is when Homer referred to Flanders as stupid best friend Flanders, which I absolutely loved. It was so sweet. It was only a few episodes ago where he was crying at Flanders' doorstep. Well, because of something I won't say in case you haven't seen the episode for any reason. But I definitely feel like over the last few seasons, Homer has been more tolerable of Flanders, and has been more open about appreciating him, which which is really nice. I, I loved Groundskeeper Willie's relative. I thought that was brilliant, a nice little thing there that I have a feeling will never be mentioned again. I have a feeling the graveyard will never be mentioned again. I could be wrong, but the Simpsons have a habit of, you know, having key plot points or things that should come up again, and they don't. If it comes up again, brilliant. And the last thing I want to mention, the last thing I found to be quite fun... <laughs> <laughs> was a uh, mill house in Lisa's dream sequence. I have to say the whole granny bit, the first dream or nightmare that she has in the sequence, genuinely terrifying. And then Millhouse came along and I don't know if I wanted to laugh or cry because it was disturbing but really creepy and a lot of fun and he slimed up a honeymoon and I don't think those phrases have ever been said before and I hate slugs so it was just eerie and creepy. Would genuinely rather spend a night in a cemetery than go near a slug. I had to pick up a slug the other day because they come indoors. I live near a lot of you know, grass and things. And oh, I didn't pick it up with my bare hands. I should point that out. Uh, but it was still disgusting. So I found that to be creepier than the whole episode. I don't know what that says about the episode. But Millhouse did look pretty awesome. So I didn't love it. I really should have done. It had all of the hallmarks of an episode where I could have said... That was basically written for me by the end of it, and unfortunately, I didn't care for it. I wouldn't skip it if I was watching, you know, if I was binge watching a season. I'm not going to skip it because I didn't hate it, but I definitely feel like it was a bit of a letdown. 